Hello, my YouTube friends. Live streaming is awesome. I love doing it. And I'm so excited to see how it's grown over the last few years. This video is gonna show any person who wants to live stream on YouTube how to do it quick and easy. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? Let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, then subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. Now for someone who's just starting out on YouTube, live streaming can seem pretty daunting and confusing. And I always like to lay out what I'm going to show you so it's really easy to follow. So when you're finished watching this, you're gonna understand how you can live stream with a computer or just your cell phone and no additional software if you want. So first I'm gonna start out showing you how to stream on YouTube using the computer and YouTube's live streaming console. Second, I'm gonna show you how to go live using the YouTube app on your phone. And third, I'm gonna show you alternative free apps that you can use to live stream on YouTube. And last but not least, I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of each method so you know which method is right for your live streaming goals. So here we are on our web page in YouTube. I'm just gonna click on this create button up here and select go live. Takes a couple of moments for the live studio to show up. And once it is, we are actually in an area where you would use a third party live streamer to stream here. We don't want that. We wanna go directly from YouTube. So we're gonna select this webcam one over here on the left hand side. And we wanna go ahead and allow the webcam thing to use our camera and our microphone. And it may not select the right one. So if you go up here to the right of your URL bar, you can see what microphones and cameras are selected. And for some reason, you can't actually change them. So I go into manage and it brings up the settings page right here. So now I'm gonna scroll down where it says camera. And I'm gonna go up here and use this dropdown to select the camera that I wanna use. Um, I have multiple cameras. You may have only one, in which case you won't need to do this. But I select the proper camera, then I'm gonna go down and also select the proper microphone by going into microphone and selecting through the dropdown the correct microphone. And once you do that, you should be all set. We'll go back into the YouTube live streaming and a lot of times you probably wanna go ahead and just refresh this page. Once you do, you could go ahead and create your title. It goes right here. And right below that is how your video is going to be listed. Is it gonna be public, unlisted, private, channel members? You can select that right here. Now unlisted doesn't go out to the public and it's good for testing. So that's what I'm gonna do here. You can schedule your live stream for later and put all your information in right here. So right here, you're going to set up whether the video is for kids or not. Most will probably not be for kids. And if we select more options, we can go and right here under the age restriction is our description. So we can go ahead and put in a description for our live stream. And good practice is to just tell the viewer what exactly you're going to be talking about on your live stream. You wanna do it in regular English and put some description words in there and all that kind of stuff just for the search engine. Once you do that, we can go down here and select the category of our live stream. I live stream educationally. I tell people how to live stream. So there we go, we're just going to select education there. And you can also select cameras right here, which is nice, and select microphones right here as well. So if this doesn't work, you can use the one in the URL bar up at the top. Otherwise, you can just use this one right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and click Advanced Settings. And here you can allow chat, you can disable chat, you can say that the video has promotional stuff if it does, and you can also enable monetization if you choose to. And you can add a fundraiser if you like for your live stream. And we go back, and now we have everything set up for our live stream. So we can click Next, and now, it's time to say cheese. It's going to take that thumbnail. And there we go. There is a thumbnail picture ready to go. This shows you all of the basics of your live stream, including the camera and microphone that you're going to be using. All that's left now is for us to go live. Now let's say that you were scheduling your live stream. That would just say done at the end. And all you have to do is click done and it will schedule your live stream. So when you go to start your live stream again later, you're going to see a little button over on the left hand side that looks like a calendar. And if you click on that, 
event. When you come into your live streaming studio, it will have your live stream listed that you already scheduled. All you have to do is select that live stream and then click go live and you will go live just like I'm going live right now. It takes a couple of seconds to connect up to YouTube and once it does, it tells you that you are live. You're gonna see some stuff appear in the top left hand corner and it tells you how long you've been live. It tells you how many viewers are watching and how many thumbs up you have on your live stream. Over here on the right will be your live chat. Your microphone volume level is down here on the left and you can mute your microphone by clicking the little microphone button. You can go over here to the right and edit your stream details. So you can add to the description. You can go in and set up some different pieces about your live chat, live redirect, which means you can live stream to other websites and things like that. And you can set up your monetization. And if we go back here to details, you can see here, we can actually add this live stream to a playlist if we like, and we can adjust all of the other settings, including adding tags if we want to. We're just gonna click cancel on there. And this little arrow to the right here, if we click on that, it gives you a link so you can go ahead and share this out on different social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter and Reddit. And we'll just close that. And we pretty much have everything we need to know about going live on YouTube. Really super easy and quick. When we're finished live streaming, all we have to do is go ahead and click on end stream. And once you click on end stream, it will verify that you really wanna end it and you click end and this stream finished box comes up. It tells you how many people watched, the most number of people that watched, how long you streamed, how many new subscribers and the duration of your live stream. Really good stuff. You can edit it in studio or you can just dismiss it. In which case, if you had your live stream live, it will be available to your viewers of your regular channel in replay or if you had it unlisted like I do, it's still listed there and you can go and watch it and edit it up and then make it live if you want or delete it. Now let's dive into how to use the YouTube app on your phone. Here we are in the YouTube app and down in the middle on the bottom, we're going to click the plus button. And we're going to select go live. And here we are gonna go ahead and create our title at the very top. Below that, we can select whether we want the video to be unlisted or public. You can put your location in for where you want YouTube to say this video is being filmed from if you would like to do that. And below that, you can select whether this video is made for kids or not. Next, we're going to click on more options and we're gonna scroll down and you can see here, we can schedule this for later if we like, select a date and time and all that good stuff. And then if we click on advanced settings, we can allow or deny chat, list whether this is for promotional purposes and add monetization. Then we're going to go out of there, click next. And now we have to go ahead and make our thumbnail. It gives you a countdown, make a stupid face, there we go. Now we are all set, it's configuring up. And once our thumbnail configures up, we can click go live. Now you're gonna notice on this screen at the very top, there is a switch camera button. So you can move the camera from the front camera to the back camera or however you want. And there's also a little arrow pointing to the right. And if you click on that, you can copy out the actual link for your live stream and paste it in and send it out to all your social media platforms. There is also a little arrow in the top left. And if you go back using that arrow, you can take your thumbnail shot again if you would like. When everything is all set up and ready to go, all you have to do is click that go live button. It takes a moment or two and you can see your chat shows up right on the screen and it tells you that you're live. In the top left hand corner, it tells you how long you've been live. Right next to that, there is an icon for how many people are watching your live stream. And right next to that, there is a thumbs up button so that you know how many people have given you a thumbs up on your live stream. Over in the bottom left, there is a camera selection button. If you hit that, you can select the other camera of your phone. If you hit it again, it goes back to the first camera. 
you can see there's a little chat button in here where you can adjust the settings on your chat. You can go ahead and click the X on that. Then this button right here with the little stick is for filters. If you want to add a filter to your live stream so that your camera has an interesting or different unique look to it, you can go ahead and select a filter and it will add all kinds of interesting things to your live streaming camera. And you can just close that out when you are finished. Now there is a little three dot button all the way to the right of the screen. And if you click on that, you can save highlights, share or mute your microphone. If you click on share, it brings up this box where we can copy out our links and share them to social media while we are live. And that is pretty much everything that you need to know about going live on your cell phone. If you want to stop your live stream up here in the top right hand corner, there is a little X. And when you tap that, it gives you a message asking you whether you're sure. When you click end, it's gonna go ahead and bring up your finished live stream, which tells you your total playbacks, your peak concurrent people watching, total watch time, average watch time, new subscribers, and the duration of your live stream. And there you go. Once you finish the stream and you exit out of that box, YouTube is actually going to build the live stream right here. And what this does is actually a copy of that live stream is saved and YouTube just processes it so it's decent quality for the replay and this can take a minute or two it's going to go ahead and do the encoding and then it uploads a copy right from your phone which is really nice and that means that if people saw it live and maybe the quality wasn't great that's okay because it uploads a physical copy directly from your phone that it did save and once that uploads you're sure that you're going to get HD quality Quality from your live stream if people want to watch it later. So a lot of times the actual quality on the rewatch of the live stream is better. And then of course it does the usual YouTube processing and all that stuff. And eventually it's going to be available for all of your folks if they want to rewatch it. It's just that simple to live stream on the YouTube phone app. Both of these methods are super easy, but they're pretty much no frills. You can go live, but if you want a more dynamic stream with lower thirds, animated overlays, screen sharing for games or videos and alerts like you see other streamers doing you're gonna need to use some software to put it together and by the way this is all free software this right here is OBS Studio and it's totally free. You can download this and you can see there are all kinds of different things that you can set up pretty much a professional broadcast and adjust audio sources and all kinds of stuff and easily switch scenes to all kinds of different video and tutorial and screen saves and video games and whatever you want. And most people who stream on a regular basis use an application like this. You can see I can and pause videos and do all kinds of really fantastic amazing things with this software and like I said it's totally free so all you have to do is create the assets for your live stream and you can go live really easily with OBS there is an alternative to OBS which actually is based on OBS and that application is called Streamlabs OBS as you can see here it does all the exact same things that OBS does it just has has a different interface. It does have a few additional features and it also has some things that OBS does that it won't do. But it's totally free and it's another live streaming alternative if you decide that being a regular live streamer is something that you want to do to really take your live streams to the next level. I mean, once you get the bug, it's hard to get rid of it. I think streaming directly on the YouTube app, whether it's on the phone or the computer, is a fantastic way to get your feet wet and live stream for the first time. In fact, when I first started live streaming, I used my cell phone every single day to live stream for about an hour. I just loved it. It's easy and fun, and you're gonna know pretty quick if live streaming is something you enjoy doing. And if you do decide that live streaming is something you enjoy, inevitably, if you really want a dynamic stream, you're gonna end up switching to streaming software like OBS or Streamlabs OBS, or possibly one of the many browser-based paid softwares out there. There's some pretty good ones. And when you do decide you want to expand your stream, I have a large collection of live streaming tutorials on how to do just about anything you could want to do. 
You can check a bunch of them out in this playlist right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.